Hello everyone, it's um, Marika here from the Names R Us. And today, I'll be teaching you how to go back to school with Rainbow Loom. So, um, uh, I'll just be teaching you today how to make the Rainbow Loom book. Alright, so, to make this, you will need one or two rainbow looms, depending on if you want a short or long bookmark. Today I'll be using two. And some bands, your hook, and a piece of string, a short, short-ish piece of string or ribbon. So let's get started. Also, it's an option to instead, um, you can, instead of using like string or ribbon, I guess it's kind of the same, but you can use, if you have them, strand bands. I know uh, lots of loomers out there um, that I know, like uh, Kate Schultz and um, Amanda and Monica are loomy, lots of loomers out there. Um, on YouTube that I know have strand bands and rainbow loom and probably a whole gazillion other people that just don't put it their um, <laughs> life out on YouTube. But um, you can use strand bands and you can do the step, which I'll show you at the end, and make a bunch of that pretty stuff. I don't. We don't have strand bands. We're going to get it soon. Because um, we've seen, we, as I said, we've seen the stuff and they look like, really cool, especially how you can use them with Rainbow Loom. But anyway, let's get started. So, you're going to need three colors. Well, you're in, you can use as many colors as you want. At least three, I think, it looks best. And we're going to lay a simple, sim <laughs> simple triple single. So, where I'm going to get some bands, and going to go out, you're going to want your loom in the staggered configuration. So I'm pretty sure most of us by now have um, learned the triple single and made it many times. I know that was like the first bracelet that they, uh, Taga and I did, was the triple single. We got the, the little book and it had that in it and it was after we had got bored of the fishtail and the single chain we started doing that and after we got bored of that we did some of the other stuff but you're just going to lay your simple border all the way up the loom so once you reach the second to last pegs here you're going to take your last two border bands and close off the border so you're going to go in at an angle to this peg and you're going to go in at an angle to that peg on the other side go back down to the bottom of your loom and now what we're going to do is geez I haven't made this bracelet in a long time what we're going to do is um, take some bands and we're going to move in the center in another single chain all the way up the loom. This is very simple and we probably all remember how to do this in the triple single band, band placement steps. So you're just going to go up in this inner pin bar in a single chain and you're going to go since you started where this pin bar began at the peg where it began you're going to go all the way until where the pin bar ends so you're just laying these bands all the way up this entire pin bar, or in my case it's two pin bars, because I'm doing mine two limb lengths long, and because of the triple single, it contracts a lot when you take it off, and uh, 
that bookmark will probably fall out if I did it just one loom length. So I will recommend if you um, have two looms that you should put them together end to end and do a two loom length long. And I need a little more meat. Jeez. So, as I said, I've gone all the way up to the top here. And now we're going to do the last band placement step. And these are what we're going to do is, let's see, we're going to reach like this no going to place the first one here here <laughs> see it's been a long time I'm gonna place the first one here and then the next one we're going to place them in a triangle and the next one is going to be here so these are not overlapping you're going to place them across these two in a long stretch and then pull it up to this pin above because it is in the staggered configuration so we're just making those triangles as you can see they are not overlapping on any of the pegs and we're going to do this all the way up until we get because we have to stop at a special place so I'm going to do the rest of this off camera and I will show you where to stop alright because we started here and not here at the top of the loom we're going to skip this last one and we're going to go down to the bottom of the loom. Actually, no, we're going to turn the loom around. And we're going to get one border band. And wrap it around this peg once in a cap band. And then we're going to get our hook. And we're going to go in, well, I'll just move for a second, go in to this cap band and pull out the first band, which is this single chain band, go into this peg, pull out the next single chain band, and we're going to loom out this, these, this red single chain. Don't worry about the triangle bands, those are supposed to be looped in. And you're going to loom it all the way until it stops at the end of this pin bar. So as I said, I've loomed it out all the way as it goes. And now what we're going to do is, oops, camera bump. We're going to go back into this cap band, pick up the next top band, which should be one of these bands going out, go in, get the other one, pull it to its home post, and then we're going to loop out both of these borders. You can do them one at a time or simultaneously like I'm doing. And we're just going to loom them out all the way down the loom. Just like this. We're just going, and there's the bottom band. And you're picking it up and looping it up all the way up the loom. So you've loomed it out all the way to here, then you're just going to 
I just have this turned around so you can see better. Um, you're going to just go into this peg and pull out the border band that goes in. Go to this one, pull out the border band that goes in. And then what you're going to do is get your piece of string or ribbon or strand band. I'm using this like silvery ribbonish string thing. <laughs> And you're, you don't need it to be, you don't need to cut it ahead of time. You see, I have a really long strand here. I won't need all of it. But just in case I cut it the wrong length, I'm just going to cut it after I do the step. So what you're going to do is take the ribbon and pull it, push it through this peg. Push it down until you can grab it with your fingers or your hook if you can do that and you're going to pull through just a little bit of string and then you're going to well you can always cut off extra you're going to make a knot and then you're going to go ahead and make a double knot so it stays nice and tight. So this is your your like C clip, and then you can take this off the loom, and then you can cut off any extra. So you can just take your scissors and cut off this little tail. Come on. And then you can kind of measure how long.